Hello fellow gardeners. Well, this is July the 4th and no we're not on the lake swimming or skiing or boating or fishing. We're chose, we chose to stay at the house and make zucchini bread today. Uh, we went to church yesterday on Sabbath. Uh, one of the families had brought about 20 of these big zucchinis that they had more than they needed and told everybody to take, one, take some home, you know, to eat. Well, not everybody grabbed their zucchini, so got down towards, towards the end, there was about seven left, and so one of the other ladies said, Judy, won't y'all just take these home? Y'all are making zucchini bread, so just make them into zucchini bread. So that's what we're choosing to do for our 4th of July, is make these zucchini bread loaves, and we're having a picnic this afternoon at the, at the Academy School over at Ardmore and we're going to go back at 5 o'clock and we're going to take these extra loaves of zucchini and share them with the folks that has young children and some of the senior citizens that might not have the opportunity to get to bake these. So anyway, you know, it's more blessed to give than it is to receive. And you need to try that sometime because you do get a good blessing when you're giving things, sharing things with other folks. So we're going to show you how we Kind of how we make these breads. Now there's lots of recipes out there. You don't have to have our recipe. I mean, we just looked online and got us a good country recipe. And mom, it was called Mom's Recipe. And uh, so anyway, I'll kind of go over it with you and then we'll let Judy show you how to, be, how to build this thing and bake them. And anyway, you use uh, uh, one cup of white sugar and one cup of brown sugar, one cup of vegetable oil, three eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla, two cups of zucchini, and three cups of white flour. And I know there's other different ways you can make it, so don't uh, don't sweat if you don't make it just like ours or whatever it is. The bread tastes good. Don't forget the nuts. And then we put a cup of English walnuts in ours also, just to make it kind of a nutty bread. I guess it's instead of banana nut bread. This is zucchini nut bread. So anyway, I'm going to let this Judy come over here now and show you. But first of all, I'm going to show you how we cut this up. We shred it. We, we cut it into quarters. And we make qu four quarters like this right here. If we cut each end off and then we run it back down through here. So that's the way we do the Zucchini, use the thing a little easier than getting that last little piece stuck, but anyway. Alright, we're going to show, or let Judy now show you how to build this zucchini bread and put it in a bake pan. First of all, I already sifted my Wait, flour. Are you good? Come on. And I added the brown sugar and my dry ingredients in this one pan. Then I take in this bowl this bowl, I have my three eggs and my one cup of white sugar, and I'm going to add my one cup of oil to this ingredients here. That's what it says in the recipe, is you put the sugar and the oil and the eggs and mix them together after you beat the eggs. And of course, I added my vanilla in this too because it was liquid ingredient, so it didn't hurt to go ahead and add it in. So after you get it all sifted and gathered together and everything, I've already greased my pans and floured them and got them ready. So I'm going to go ahead and put this oil in here and start mixing my oil and that into my dry ingredients. And you mix all this up real good. And I got worried a while ago because it got kind of stiff. It gets kind of really dry. But after you once get it all in here and everything, and get it mixed up, I don't like to waste any of it. it mess the whole work up. Anyway, you mix it all up with your dry ingredients. And just keep mixing it till you get it mixed up real good.
Now, folks, what she was worried about a while ago was that first batch being a little dry. What she didn't tell you, she's already made one batch, and they're in the oven cooking, and now we're making the second batch to show y'all how we're doing, and then we'll continue on in a moment. See, the bread looks a little bit dry right now, and you get kind of a little bit worried about it, but actually, it's doing what it's supposed to do. And then I have this two cups of zucchini right here. And I'm going to put this two cups of zucchini in there. And it said in there that you could peel your zucchini, but I don't peel my zucchini. I think that's where all the vitamins are. So I like to just put it in there. So after you put the zucchini in and start mixing it in, You start mixing the zucchini in there, and it starts loosening up and gets loose, and it'll mix up better. It makes the moisture, is what it does. I'm going to have my big spoon. That whisk ain't doing the job. I know I get kind of quiet while I'm doing this, but I got my mind on getting this mixed up. So you'll just have to bear with me just a minute. Now it's coming to be bread, see? See, it's looking a lot loose, looking a whole lot better. Mm -hmm. That's the way it's supposed to look. And of course, then I have one cup of nuts I have to add to it. And Leon's already broke my nuts up and got them all fixed for me. He's a pretty good worker. So I put those nuts in there. And I've got these pans over here ready. And I'm going to put them in these pans. And I've got to take that out of the oven or I'm going to burn it. And folks, I guess, you know, you could use pecans, peanuts. Now those are English walnuts that we're using. And, uh, Just anything you want to put in, uh, you could add your ingredients however you want them to. Uh, like I said, I've got this all mixed up now, ready to go. I had to break and take the, what I had in the oven out of the oven or it was going to be too well done. So now I'm making this in these little pans. And I haven't used these little pans, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. We'll see. I think it'll make three. We'll be just right. Here I am being quiet again. I'm sorry. You'll just have to forgive me. Got my mind on what I'm doing. Leon moved my camera for me. I hope I do it right. I'm ready for these to go in the oven. You can see what they look like. Right now they're just little pans of raw dough. I'm fixing to put them in at 350 degrees. And I'm going to set these, being as they're smaller, the other ones I cooked for 60 minutes. But these are smaller, so I'm going to put them on for 45 and check them. And if they're done, fine. If they're not, I'll cook them another 15 minutes. Show them the two you just pulled out of the oven, Judy. Why, how did you test to see if it's ready to come out of the oven or not? Well, I cooked these 60 minutes. And then it said on there, cook them 45 to 60 minutes and check them with a toothpick. And if they come out clean, then they're done. And they look really well to me. I think they're pretty... Look pretty nice. I don't know. I haven't tasted them, of course. We'll try them here in a little bit and let they, you know something. They look like they're coming out all right, so I'm going to say they're okay. So I've got the other ones in there for 45 minutes, and then I'm going to check them, okay? 
And thank that, you. That's the only way I know to do it. So. Okay, thank you folks for watching. And uh, if you like this video, subscribe, ring a bell, and punch a button. And we'll make you another one. I know we've been kind of slack lately. We've been uh, doing a little fishing. and uh, I've been fishing. She's been, been fishing. guiding. <laughs> He always tells me he's the driver. He don't have to catch a bunch of fish. Well, that's all right. I have fun seeing her catch the fish and take them off her hook and put them in her back on for her. And anyway, we have fun out there on the lake in our little boat. We'll take you out with us one of these days and and uh, show you a little video of that. So if okay. you like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, and we'll make you another video. Goodbye.